Good morning, folks. Welcome back and Merry Christmas. We did the gift giving thing and I got official permission to come out for a little bit uh, to a place that I rarely get to get to uh, because it's closed today. Got another hour, hour and a half before I have to start cooking. So we figured we'd uh, head out here and uh, see what we can do on old quarantine pond. There are a bunch of geese chilling out where I want to start. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. This could get pretty nightmarish pretty quick. Just gonna try to sneak down there and uh, oh no, don't, don't, don't go into the water. Anyway, uh, we are gonna give this a shot, even though these geese are decided to go waterbound. Let's give them a minute. All right, it is Christmas. Let's see if we can get a gift here on the first cast. No, I think this may be the longest I've ever gone in this pond without catching a fish. It might be taking the day off for Christmas. Nice, nice, nice. Nice bluegill. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Sweet. Nice gilly. Beautiful. Sweet. Good start. So apparently all the uh, fish are doing their gift giving stuff right now. One real nice sunny and so far that has been it. It's kind of a surprise. This is perhaps the worst outing I've ever had out here. Just gotta locate them. They gotta be bunched up somewhere. There's one. Oh, lost it. Let's back off the drag one notch. Got good exposure. Try that again. And see if we can get into something. All I want for Christmas is two species. There's only two species in this pond, so. Oh, jeez. This has historically been a uh, winter home base. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Solid hit that I just let go too long there. Damn it. I need to get a little further out. 
seems to be a few fish on the outer reaches of my casting distance. But not much on the inside of my casting distance. So <laughs> basically all I came out to do is two species and call it quits. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year or whatever else you celebrate this time of year. Oh God, I got a little nibble there. I think that, just judging by the hits, that everything that I've been hit so far has been, uh, it's been bluegill. Would be nice if we could get into a bass before we go. Bass at this point. Oh God, man, come on. What the hell is going on here? There we go. Here, you got this. Oh no, man, I lost that one too. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I can't seem to get a hook set for my life right now. And we know they're, they're over there. hit come on man do y'all see that the line just totally skipped there we go another sunny nice one very nice sunny I'm gonna let this go this way. It's been a rough go. <laughs> this goes back, uh, in case you all don't know this, me fishing this pond goes back to the major, major shutdowns in 2020. Montgomery County kind of said, all right, well, we'll let you, uh, we'll let people use the water since they can't use the course. Shoot, I missed another one. And we basically got to fish out here for about, I don't know, like three or four months straight while everything was shut down. And then they opened the golf course back up and said, you know, you're not going to be able to do this unless the place is closed, snowed over, whatever. And I followed that and um, haven't had a problem with them. But I would not suggest to anybody that you try the same. That's a little better. Maybe. It's a bass, yes. All right. You know, make sure that you have permission for these types of places. Uh, express permission. Uh, you don't want to get uh, trespassing charges and whatnot. Especially on uh, county property, they tend to take that stuff pretty seriously. Uh, there we go, there's a bass. Sweet. Two species, the only two species in here on Christmas day of 2023. That's how we roll. There's another. Keep getting into them now. Another bass, hell yeah. 
There we go. Two each of two species. Let's get this guy up here. Another little bass. Sweet. Man, those guys are pale. Yeah, I was on the struggle bus for about the first half hour. I got one fish and all of a sudden in the last uh, five minutes or so, I got three. I keep kind of tossing toward that area where I've been catching. Seems to be a lot of fish stacked up. Right over here. There's another. Another bass. This guy up here. Stop it. There we go. Yeah, cookie cutter, just like always. These are not big fish. They've actually, their size has gone down since uh, 2020 considerably. The bass population has kind of exploded in here. That 2020 year was a really, really good spawn. So the overall size has gone down a couple of inches. There's another, oh, I missed it. And actually so has the size of the bluegill. We used to regularly catch 10 and 12 inch bluegill in here. Everything's kind of gone down. It's kind of the ebb and flow of the, of pretty much any water. But this one, you know, obviously is pretty effective because it's so small, you know. Look at that, there's another bass. Fourth bass. Let's go ahead and unhook this guy. And yeah, I know the, uh, the POV angle shows you it doesn't really represent the size of a fish very well because people can cheat and just bring it closer. That's it. That's what we got. Uh, this is actually the smallest, but uh, but yeah, I mean they're hitting pretty pretty solid right now. All right, so uh, pretty soon I've got to get home and cook. So I'm just going to take a couple more casts and call it a day. There's another. Nice. Ooh, water skiing. <laughs> Boom. There we go, another little guy. And kind of par for the course, uh, Z-Man Finesse TRD on a 132nd ounce mule fishing jig head. This stuff works so, so well in the winter. And you guys know me, I am finesse through and through. I probably wouldn't try attacking this like, like crazy 
with bigger baits. Lost that one. Because uh, they're not going to hit. Every one of these fish, uh, it's been either on a direct slow fall or completely dead sticked at the moment. So uh, that's the way it's been going. At any rate, folks, hey, listen, I want to tell you. Ooh, hold on, I got to tell you in a second. <laughs> no, I missed that one too. Hold on, let's, let's see if we... All right, folks, with that said, I gotta tell you, um, Valerie and I uh, really appreciate your support. This has been an amazing year, 2023. The channel growth has been absolutely amazing. A lot of the friendships that we've got out of this have been absolutely beautiful and I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody that watches this channel everybody that interacts with me everybody that I've met and that now fishes with me regularly it's good stuff you got a fish Ooh. And lost him at the last second. But anyway, thank you so much. Uh, we seriously wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, things should start to get back to a normal clip pretty quickly here. I've had issues with uh, my knee. I've got, I think, three videos that are part of the way already edited. And so there will be some content flowing over the next couple months. Um, and of course, as always, things will severely pick up in March. But I just wanted to take the time to thank you all. Valerie and I truly appreciate your support. 2023 was pretty phenomenal. And I think 2024 is going to be even better. So stay tuned and Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next one.